Hey guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do today is I am going to do two layered acrylic keychains. Um, so basically what I did was I took my glow and I did make these with my glow forge. Um, but basically I took the glow forge and I cut out two layers of acrylic and I used some um, 3M adhesive to put them together and then I did make the holes as well so that I can add my hardware um, I designed these in uh, silhouette studio business edition and then we took them over to our glowforge software and we cut them out so this is what we are going to be doing today if you want to learn how to make these keychains with your glowforge go ahead and stick around All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start out in Silhouette Studio and I'm going to show you how I designed this. This is super, super easy, super simple. Um, you do have to have the business edition or one of the paid versions in order to save an SVG file. You cannot save an SVG file in the free version, but I do believe the paid versions, you can't all of them. I am using the business edition. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and basically recreate this for you guys. Um, I'm going to go over to my text. And I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm using, the Harlow Solid Italic. And I'm just going to type in Mom Boss. And actually, that is not the right font. Let me go back. I'm going to click on this one so I can see what font it is. And it doesn't want to show me what font it was. Okay, so let me go up to my recents. I may be able to find it there. It's this one. So beauty. Okay, it's beauty in Silhouette Studio is the font that I'm using. Um, and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can kind of see it. And then I think I did decrease the line spacing just a little bit. And then I'm gonna right click and I'm going to weld because I didn't want all of those. Let me go back so I can show you. All of these little cuts right here, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that, okay? So when I go ahead and I right click and I weld, you'll see that all of those go away, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add an offset to this. I'm gonna turn this a solid color just so we can see it. And really, this is the size of the off offset that I like. Um, it already populated to what I wanted it to do. So that looks good to me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I need to create a little room for the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this and I'm just going to pull this out because this is where the hole is going to go. And that actually looks fine to me. And then I'm just going to, oops. I'm just going to place the hole right there. Super easy. And you know what? I don't even need the this to be that big. So I'm going to bring it back down a little bit. All right, so that looks good to me, okay? This is the file we're gonna, well, I'm gonna use this file because I already have it saved. But basically, that's literally all I did. I just typed out the word I wanted, I welded it, I added an offset, and I added a hole. Now, this hole and this offset needs to be the same color so that Glowforge know that this is going to be cut. This is also going to be cut, but it's gonna be a separate cut because I'm doing a two-layer um, acrylic, so they're gonna be different colors. So I, I'm not gonna engrave this. So what I need to do is, it still needs to be a separate color so that the Glowforge know that it's gonna be a separate action, okay? Then you would just go up here to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, 
and then you can save it to your SVG as long as you have a paid version of Silhouette Studio. Okay, so now we are gonna go over to Glowforge. I do, as you can see here, my bottom layer is going to be a glitter acrylic and I did mask the top part of it already. So I wanna make sure that my file is in the top part where the mask is, the masking tape is. Um, what I'm gonna do, Okay, because these are going to be cut out in two different colors. So the backing part is going to be a silver glitter. The top part is going to be a rose gold. Okay, so what I want to do is the back part is what's going to be the glitter. So I want this back part as well as the hole to be cut out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to cut. And this mom boss word, I want to ignore that for right now because that's gonna be cut out of a different color, which I'm gonna to have to unload the silver glitter to load in the rose gold. So for now, you just put this as ignore and the Glowforge is going to ignore the word mom boss for right now. And it's only gonna go ahead and cut out our outline. All right, so now I'm gonna press print. It's gonna go ahead and let me know how long it's gonna to take to cut out the outline and the hole. It's just auto focusing on the material right now so it can let me know how long it's going to take. It shouldn't take longer than a minute or two. Come on, now it's taking forever. All right, so this is only going to take 31 seconds to cut out. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this cut out, and then once I get this silver glitter part cut out, I'm going to show you how we're going to swap it to cut out the mom boss. All right, so we do have the first part cut out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the second part, which is gonna be out of a rose gold mirror ac acrylic. Now I did only mask this one corner because I put um, 3M adhesive on the back and I only put it in this corner. So I put the masking in this corner so that I knew which corner the 3M was in. So I made sure I put it on the right in the right spot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and line this up to cut it out as close to the edge as possible. Now what I'm going to do this, um, because now I need to cut out the word mom boss. So now I'm going to switch this to cut and we're going to switch the outline to ignore. So now the Glowforge is only going to cut out the word mom boss. Okay. And then I'm also going to switch this to a thin acrylic because this, um, um, this acrylic that I have, it is thinner, so I don't need it to cut as, you know, as hard as it was cutting the other one, okay? I'm sorry, that says thick. I need thin. Thin acrylic. Thin. Um, let's see. I am going to cut it on... I'm going to cut it on thin cherry veneer because this acrylic is very, very thin. I could actually probably cut this with my maker low key, um, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press prints and we are going to see how long this should take. This should not take very long either. Yeah. 
the glow forge is just doing its thing it auto focuses on the material and then um it calculates exactly how long it should take and this says it's only going to take 36 seconds okay so i'm going to go ahead get this cut out and then we're going to put it together um on camera at my craft table our two pieces cut out this is the backing for our keychain and you see we have our hole here so um, I did already take the masking off it's all nice and glittery and shiny that looks really cute um and then this is our rose gold piece now I haven't taken anything off of this one yet you see how like paper thin this acrylic is it's so 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 thin so this one, I am going to have to be super, super careful when I'm taking this masking off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it off with it sitting like on the table like this, just so that I know it's, I'm not going to break it. I don't want to break it at all. This acrylic is so thin. Um, like I said, I probably very well could have cut this with my maker to be honest um this is the 3m adhesive i did get this from amazon i got all and i also got all of this acrylic from amazon as well and i will link it down below for you um this rose gold acrylic i'm not that fond of i'll probably never repurchase this one um i will link it down if you want to try it but i don't really care for it um but it's up to you i'm gonna try another company for this rose gold acrylic But all I'm doing is I am still just taking this masking off the back, the 3M, so that we can get it placed onto the, um, the silver glitter acrylic. There we go. So <clears throat> this is the front. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down first and then I'm going to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, and peel off the rose gold. I'm sorry, the blue masking. <coughs> okay. And then, uh-oh, I forgot to take this piece out. Okay, there we go. So there it is on there. I just have to pull the blue masking off now. And I'm being very careful because I don't want to scratch the um, the rose gold acrylic when I'm taking this off. 
So just make sure you're very careful when you're using your weeding tool or whatever to pull it up. <coughs> because you don't want to scratch it. Oh my goodness, I think I need some water or something. I'm trying to get most of it in one piece and it doesn't want to come off in one piece. It wants to keep ripping. This is really pretty though. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to um, join my Facebook group, uh, Crafty Mamas with an S. No emojis on the end of it. And um, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm going to link everything down below um, as well as all of my products I use like I said most of most of my products today came from Amazon I did want to try out some Amazon products just because I like receiving my stuff in a couple of days so I did go ahead and get a lot of stuff from Amazon for the Glowforge just because like I said I wanted to see how this stuff works from Amazon sellers the, so far, the only one I'm not really liking is, like I said, this rose gold acrylic. Um, one, just because it's so thin. Um, I was looking for kind of a thicker acrylic. Oh, this is so pretty. I was looking for a, uh, a thicker acrylic. All right, there we go. Y'all, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I got masking tape all over my fingers. Okay, and this is the one that I did. I did this one for TikTok, so I have two of them. And then this is a black acrylic. I did get this from this black acrylic from Amazon, and then this silver is the same um, silver I use for this. It's um, I use it for this one as well. So these are the two keychains we I did today. Look how pretty that is. That is so cute. I love it. You guys, I am having so much fun with my Glow Forge. And I got all of this acrylic on Amazon. Okay, I got the black acrylic, the silver acrylic, and the rose gold acrylic on Amazon. The only thing is for this one, you see how um, thick this one is thicker because this. Um, this rose gold is is a way thinner, so this keychain is way thinner compared to this one. But I love both of them. They both came out so cute. That's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until the next time, guys. Bye.